flying in the air. But God said, whoa, 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 to the inhabitants of the earth. When I, well, what the, let me get some book on this so they don't think I'm making this up. To go with me to Revelation 12. I've been talking about that enough. Let's go there. Now, I know a lot of folks have been out of shape. I've talked to some time. What do you mean that, 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 that Satan is in heaven? Yeah. He's right there. Well, everybody running around talking about they done found the Ark of the Covenant. He can't find it down here because it's in heaven. It's the Ark of the, you know, it, it's up, it says it's the Ark of the Covenant. They say they done found the Ark. But the Ark of the Covenant is with God. God said, I can't leave it down there with man. Man, too much of a knucklehead. Mm -hmm. It's in there. I mean, I sure God think I'm. Let's go to Revelation 12, verse 7. Now, this is when this thing, what we read up there at 8 and 13, really will transpire. God will always, through his prophets, tell you what's coming. The problem is, have you read it? He told you, you shouldn't worry about what Trump sounded. He said, the father's one out. Okay, didn't the one blow there, and that was the one that the old fake fellow trying to come down. And you know things are starting when you see three. It says three angels, didn't it say that? Lord, have mercy. That means they ain't blown for the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's go. That's, it, it, Revelation 12, verse 7. And there was a war in heaven, Michael and his angels fought against, number one, the dragon. And the dragon fought against his angel and prevailed not. There was their place found any more in heaven. That's why things gonna get quiet up there. And they're gonna fall down there and woe to all these folks on the earth, cause they haven't been taught what the word says. Now look at the name first. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil. All his names and offices are right here, and Satan. What did he do? Which deceiveth the whole cosmos, not God's people. He was cast out. In, where was he cast out? Into the earth. And his angels were cast out with him. That's why a woman must have Christ over the head, like in, we showed you in Matthew 24, where he said it will be the same as the days of Noah, which is Noah in the, in the Greek. They will be given and taken wives in marriage like they did in Genesis 6. And God said, and you need to have Christ over your head, meaning you have the mark of God in your forehead. You know from whom you're going to obey his voice. You ain't going to listen to them sweet. Look how they, now look what it says, 10 verse. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come, listen now, salvation and strength, and the kingdom of our God and the power of, of his Christ. Why? For the accuser of the brethren is cast down. Isn't that something? What is he be? Which accuses before our God day and night. See, he got there. See that? I thought you said they was all that in the bag of chips. Look at them. They ain't following your voice. But all God says with Jesus sitting on the other side making intercessions, but they got that mark in the head. I know they're mine. And you can't touch a hair on their head. We might get the nine. Help me, somebody. Listen, 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 listen. And they, listen. Well, how did they make it? And they overcame him. Why? By the blood of the Lamb, and by what? The word of their testimony. What? The only testimony we can give is what thus said the Lord. I know you got to understand, if your testimony ain't based upon the word of the Lord, you're feeding your flesh. I ain't trying to be funny. Right. But you know when God has delivered you from something. Nobody can never take from me the fact that God can heal. Because I know he can because he healed me. I know that. 
But I'd rather go on home as well. But the same word came to me and said, no, you should live and not die and proclaim the word of the Lord. That's I, I, what I'm trying to do this morning now. I don't know. And they love not their lives unto death. Lord have mercy. See, when you be carried up before death, you, he can't kill you because, uh, you know, when you carried up before him that time, next time, that's his name, death. When you come before him, you be in a spirit body. What you supposed to do? You just elect. You just let the spirit speak through you. He can't kill you. Never could, never can, nothing. Now listen. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. But what happens to the folks that's in the cosmos? Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. The sea of lies. Just like you're seeing now, all these people decreeing all this mess. Talking about this and talking about that. The, the Antichrist is going to come from the European Union. Writing books and doing all kind of stuff. And we're not just simply read the word of God. This movie, Left Behind, has sold billions of copies and got a whole lot of folks messed up. Because this preacher decreed something that's not in God's word. And I stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Let's go to the manuscripts and let's see what's going on. Well, I had Christians tell my they bleed. What's that other, them codes or something now, them Bible codes. They bleed that stuff. That's them Da Vinci codes. I had some very smart individuals I know. Man, I kind of bleed them Da Vinci codes. I said, well, it doesn't line up with the word. Oh, come on, Mac. You always. I said, well, you don't be whatever you want to. Why? Look at how much plain can it be. For the devil, what does it say? Is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that his, he have but a show. Now, he's going to come down prosperously. Everybody thinks, see, the, the only thing he got is deception. That's all he's got. That's what his name is, deception. Now, let's put a little more meat on these bones. We'll be about through for today. I know folks get bent out of shape, but they're scared of revelation. So I'm going to tell you, you don't need to know no revelation. Mm-hmm. You're going to be gone. Gone where? They've decreed that, but yet God says in Ezekiel 13, starting about the 18th verse, straight on down, I'm against those that teach my people to fly, to save their soul. And yet they'll see that and just go right on back. I don't have to give an account later. Let's go to Revelation 8. We're about through for today. Let's start at verse 1. And we'll try to make it very hurriedly through that. Because, now here's what I mean about the seventh seal. See, they're in order. See, don't get bent out of shape. We're waiting on what? The seventh trump. See what I'm saying? Nobody knows when that's going to sound. And when he had, this is his name, and when he had opened the seventh seal, remember, look, remember we read over there that a few minutes ago, but it was just quiet. Look what he says now. Uh, the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of a half and an hour. Now understand the etymology of see well, over there when we was in in Mark 13, he said he shortened it to five months. Yeah. So uh, all you got to do is interpret this as two and a half months, okay? Because it's what an hour and a half. Which all you're trying to do is half of five is what? Two and a half. So I just want you to understand, these are just nothing, nothing, nothing mysterious. And now look what he said. And I saw the seventh angel which stood before God, and to them were given what? Seven trumpets. So you can see that trumps ain't been sound yet, have they? Oh, no. But you see they're coming, don't you? I ain't trying to shake you up. Now look. 
And another angel came and stood at the altar having a golden censer. And there was given unto him much incense that he should offer it with prayer for all saints. See, God loves his children. You got Christ up there making intercession for you, and you got all of God's angels. The one of them third didn't go with Satan. Hallelujah. Now listen, uh, uh, prayers for all the saints. I'm pretty sure we, we're not angels. Are we? Upon the golden altar which was before the throne. God is always taking care of his own. You don't have nothing to worry about. And look, and the smoke of the incense which came with the prayers of the saints ascended up. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Before God, out of the angel's hand. Understand, these are Hebraism. These are actual things that's going... And the angel, singular, took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. That's God, holy Ruach coming down. I don't care if we're on the other edge, it, it, it will warm us. But if you go to 1 Peter, you'll see on 2 Peter, by that third verse said, it will burn up all the rudiments are the elements, everything that's not of God, everything that made his own decree, everything that pretended to know me but didn't know it, when that fire come down, it's own. Cast it into the earth, and there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and earthquakes. Don't mean nothing to us because he's not angry with us. And the seven angels, which had the seven trumps, prepared themselves to sound. Is that plain? They haven't sound yet, didn't it? Say they prepared themselves. Them other trumps, you have to explain where they come from. See, one angel already holding them back. When we get to the ninth verse, he's going to tell them angels, hold back the wind, hold back the fire. Till you gather up my children, my saints. One already out there, the other three has got to hold back that holy rule out. Because <laughs> God's getting ready to fix this thing now. Now you see, we're not talking about them seven trumps, are we? We're talking about the ones that go, the north, south, east, west. Four represents earth or wind or whatever. And in this case, the Holy Spirit. He said there was one angel already out there, wasn't it? Her glory. Let, let's go on down. I'm, I'm getting happy now. I want you to prepared themselves to sound. The first angel sound, and there followed hell. That hell going to weigh 110 to 180 pounds, depending on 